Hello everybody, my name is Ever the Jester, and today I'm going to be showing you a load order that makes Skyrim look great. Let's get right into it, because I hate long intros. I need somebody to do the transition. Uh, can you do it? This was as stupid as our feud with Clan Greymane. You could have just said no. The first mod is called Classic Graphics. What this mod is going to do is it's going to make all the wood and all the houses and buildings look a little bit older, a little bit more weathered, and adding a little bit of more damage to it, just to make it look a lot more real. This will make everything look a little bit older, a little bit more classic, a little bit more damaged, just to give off the medieval vibe, and it really does suit it pretty well. This mod goes great with Anna Skyrim Texture Overhaul, which is the next mod that I will be showing you. But this will make all the buildings look a lot older and just overall look really nice. Here's a good example. It just you can see on the wood that it's not nearly as vibrant. It it's not nearly as light. It looks a lot darker, a lot more shadows, a lot more cracks and creases. And it goes very, very well with the other mods installed. It just looks really, really good. The next mod is called Anna Skyrim Texture Overhaul. Now this is a mod that will completely overhaul basically everything that is enterable, like a building or a castle or a cave. Just everything in general will be altered and completely changed to look somewhat better. Now the reason I say this goes so good with classic graphics is because classic graphics will particularly target the way the buildings look in terms of wood and weathering whereas Anna Sky and Texture Overhaul will focus on vibrant and colors so mixing these two mods together is actually a really good idea because then you'll get something that looks like this Anna Sky and Texture Overhaul particularly focuses on the buildings such as the interiors of buildings, which is another mod that will come up next, and the, in and the exterior of buildings. Adding a lot more decorations and a lot more colors and a lot more vibrant colors, it'll just make everything look a lot better. It'll just make all the buildings look a little bit more charismatic. Just make Here is a good example of classic graphics and Anna Skyrim Texture Overhaul working together. They make this place look so nice. They make everything in cities look so much better, so much more realistic. Sort of similar to um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame Disney film is what I kind of get from this, like the vibes that I'm getting from this. It just looks really nice and honestly, it's probably one of my favorite combinations when it comes to Skyrim's load orders on PS4. Because it's so simple, but at the same time, it's not. At the same time, it's PS4, so we don't really have a lot of options. So this is a, an amazing way to make it look a lot better than vanilla. It just looks a lot better. It just looks, it just looks great. Here's another example. Like, you know what I mean? Like the bell tower up here just gives me the Hunchback of Notre Dame vibes, and the town, the way the city looks, the way the buildings look, the way the walls look makes everything look a lot older and a lot more simple which is the the look that I'm going for and honestly I believe that I've achieved it it just looks so good and I know I sound like a broken record saying it sounds good but I mean just take a look at it, it just kids all in all, this just adds a whole new vibe, it just adds a completely different tone, and it just makes everything look a lot better. Especially with uh, the certain seasons, like Solitude is a little bit more of a summertime, so it's added a little bit brighter colors, whereas Windhelm is more of a winter type of theme, because it's literally winter, and it adds more of a darker theme. So it just it just goes really well and these two mods blend in very very beautifully so definitely give these two mods a shot it's definitely worth it the next mod is more of a minor kind of thing it's called acid what this mod is going to do is it's going to make all the rocks look a lot more realistic and make them a lot more weathered and a lot have a lot more water damage a lot more cracks and a lot more creases just to make them look a lot more realistic so they're not just brown or 
gray stones, like gray pebble looking things, you know? Kind of look, the vanilla, it kind of looks like a kid just kind of drew it in with a couple lines. This mod will completely overhaul it and make all the rocks look a lot more realistic. So when you're wandering through, you know, the grass or just walking around in a plains field and you see a rock, now you can admire its beauty, its true beauty. For how it's supposed to look because these rocks are immaculate immaculate literally that's all it does it just completely overhauls the rocks and the stone to make it look a lot more realistic so I mean it definitely goes well with classic graphics and and a sky and texture overhaul because then you could get something that looks like this this is definitely one of the better mods for rocks and landscape so definitely give this mod a shot the next mod I have installed is called Autumn Skies. What this mod is going to do is it's going to make everything look a lot brighter. It's going to add a lot more clouds that look like that, which is honestly probably one of the best parts of the mod is the fact that the clouds look so realistic. It's going to add a lot more vibrant colors and it's going to add a lot more warm and just very warm type of looking skies. Of course, in the winter, it'll look a lot cloudier, it'll look a lot more, um, like, rainy and a lot shittier, like, you know what I mean? It just looks a lot cloudier and stuff like that, but in places like Whiterun and Solitude, you'll get place, you'll get skies that look like this, and it just looks really nice, especially with combining all the other mods together. You get something like this. This building right here is a really good example because it just looks so much more realistic. It just looks so much more old and a lot more weathered and it just looks a lot better than the vanilla. It just adds a whole new element to it and it just looks really nice and honestly I think that this is one of the better sky mods that you can get on the PS4 mod market and although it's very underrated I still think that it should be uh, talked about so it's definitely a great mod you should definitely check it out so after downloading all these mods you should get scenes like this Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you all in the next video, when I have most of my followers back. Peace out, yo.